Damn, traffic is trafficking. What's the fastest way to get here? 36 minutes. We drive for 40 minutes anyway. It's empty. It should be fun. That don't look right. I will fix that later. But, morning. Just another ride with me video. I'm not gonna do too much talking, or maybe I am. Who fucking knows? I don't know how I'm feeling or how this is gonna go right now. But we just gonna go with the flow. Oh shit. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's definitely gonna be traffic. I should have put a hoodie on. I would have been freezing cutting up. But yeah, today is a good day. Reason being, today I am headed to Houston. No reason in particular. I don't even know what lanes. There are. But today, I'm headed to Houston. I'm definitely riding. I'm not riding up there because that's a fucking three hour ride. But I'm heading to Houston for military reasons. Uh, I gotta make up some days. So I'm gonna go spend a whole week out there because technically I'm still in the service. I'm not fully out yet. But yeah, so I'm going, I'm going back to Houston for drill. But while I'm out there, I'm going to a meet somewhere in Spring, Texas, I think. And bring y'all along with me, bring my bike with me. At first I was gonna drive out there. Then I realized driving to, riding to Houston it's kind of crazy not even kind of it is crazy so yep i was gonna ride to houston and then i did an hour ride in san antonio and i was like that's kind of stupid like, an hour on my bike in san antonio and i was gonna die and i thought i was gonna be chilling i thought it was gonna be a cool little ride my head started hurting i started feeling lightheaded fucking everything was going all wrong that day so I just decided that I was gonna buy a hitch for my car so I can pull my bike with me with a U-Haul trailer. So it's the plan right now, but I can't wait. I feel like it's gonna be a good experience to just try to make some content out there for y'all boys. I feel like I'm going out of my way to make content by taking my bike to Houston and shit. So hopefully everything works out <sighs> and then we'll see what works. I'm probably gonna make another perspective video. Just uh, probably gonna do like a phone vlog type shit. And y'all figure, y'all see what I'm talking about later. It's just, damn. I just don't want to drive. I know driving to Houston gonna be boring, but riding to Houston is gonna be hell. Cause imagine, especially on this, I feel like now that I think about it, I'm probably not gonna get a fucking, I'm not gonna get a, a leader bike, super sport at least. Probably gonna get one of those more comfortable a thousand bike, thousand cc bike. But I feel like a thousand cc is still too much for a nigga. But fuck it, man. This shit get loud. Oh my god. That's another thing. I don't have headphones. And my ears are ringing. So another thing is I don't have headphones to ride for three hours in my ear with. Because I know I can't ride. Listen to this bitch yelling for three hours. It feels good though. I got these new gloves. Because my old gloves were... uh a little too restricted for my fucking thumb. If y'all new here, uh, I got a thumb issue. Uh, my shit dislocated a couple years ago and it's been fucked ever since. And they just noticed the same injury from a couple years ago left a couple fragments of bone on the side of my fucking thumb. So it's like dumb uncomfortable. But I got these new gloves, $60 on Amazon. Y'all come check it out or whatever. It feels better. I feel like I can, wait, what's smacking against this? Shit? Oh, probably my hoodie stuff. It has to be, right? Yep, it is. Alright, boy. Let's just enjoy the ride, man.
starting to go numb a little bit. Obviously, fucking weak. Like uh, my old joints were like a lot more. If I fall down, I'm not gonna die type shit. These have like some fake. I don't want to say fake, but they just they're a lot more breathable than my old gloves. So yeah, probably gonna title this video testing out my new gloves. So. But these definitely feel way better. Like, look, they even have like have like holes in them and shit. It's a lot breathable, but it's not even as hot. So I want to I want to ride when it's hotter. And maybe, but it definitely feels less restrictive because that the gloves I was wearing were like track gloves or something. Them bitches was hot, all leather. You can't breathe for shit in them bitches. So yeah, I'm definitely glad I got these hoes. Especially I'm going to Houston, it's hotter in Houston. It's a lot more humid in San Antonio, but it's hotter in Houston, so. God, we finna have so much fun in Houston, bro. I already know we finna have fun in Houston. Yeah, I'm licking over my boy Cam T. Are we finna be outside? Oh my God. We finna have so much fun, bro. I just hope, nah, that nigga, he has to get a car though, cause I'm not coming out here to be yelling through my fucking helmet. Nah, he gotta get a car before I pull up, bro. Now that I think about it, that's gonna be the downfall of all this shit. We gonna be riding around, can't talk. That shit gonna be crazy. I hate fucking Ford SUVs. They just look like cops way too much for me, bro. Fuck. I wish I was a pro wheelie really popper. Popping that front loop. I'm gonna try to see if I can lean a little bit up here, practice a little bit. It's gonna be so much fun in Houston. 
it just okay now I gotta I got I just realized bro I'm going to Houston it's a lot more traffic well first of all I got toe tags so ain't no traffic for your boy but either way fucking it's a lot more traffic I don't know where the cost be posted up at so that's gonna be difficult I know those are the things I'm worried about. Traffic, but I got a tow tag and it's free tow wherever the fuck I go. And then, what else? I got traffic and I got cops. I don't know nothing about where the cops be posted up at, so I've got to get, i got to have my boy in my ear telling me, what the who, Paul, telling me, oh shit, look out up front, what the who, because I'm not trying to get pulled over, because I would. If I get pulled over, I get pulled over. I'm not from here, so who do who bang? Oh wow, this traffic is bad up here. But that's why you want a bike car. Don't give a fuck about traffic. We just split. Whoop de whoop. Loop de loop. Vroom vroom. It's not even bad yet. And they always slowing down. That is crazy. I'm gonna need to use my mirrors in Houston. Why don't people think, oh shit, let me use this line until the end of it. You know, you can't trust people. I don't trust nobody. My, sh my fucking thumb's still tweaking out on this. So I might have to do a little bit more. Oh, I might have to practice how to not ride with my thumb so much. Oh, uh, imagine waking up early to go to work every day. I could never. Not even like I can't wake up early because I wake up, my body wakes me up at like five. Hey. So it's not even like I can't do it. It's just getting up to deal with traffic. I could never. That's the part. That's probably what I hate the most about like, possibly getting a nine to five and shit. Trying to get a fucking job and then waking up every day deal with morning traffic and then afternoon traffic especially getting out getting out the same time fucking students get out to school and shit boy I gotta get in this lane what if I get into my fucking appointment and they tell me it was supposed to be a zoom call or fucking some type of video appointment but definitely need to be high on ibuprofen and shit my fucking thumb is on is on 10 right now oh life be life man have to be uniform and shit. I feel like I'm gonna be working, working anyway. My crippled ass can't really do shit. Oh my God, I'm going to Houston. I, I feel like I just gotta enjoy it. I don't wanna dread or drive or the fact that traffic is 24 seven in Houston. I just gotta enjoy the ride, you know what I mean? Just enjoy my time out there, take a break and all that extra shit. I feel like that's what it's really just gonna be about. Just enjoying my time. Oh my God, I'm going to Oh, what am I grateful for? Right now, I feel like I'm grateful for my girlfriend. I'm grateful for, I guess, still being alive. Being able to find a loophole in every system I study. I'm grateful for my mom, my siblings. I don't know, man. I guess life isn't that bad right now. Life ain't that bad right now, so I shouldn't be, shouldn't be stressing so much. I'm gonna try to, try to be grateful for everything I do have. I'm not extremely religious and nothing like that. So. Yeah, it's about to get a little, a little windy, so I'm gonna stop talking. Bending my hand when I'm turning, my, my, my elbow area, I don't feel as bad, as much tension in my shoulders as when I was like, straight handing that shit like this. So that's probably what I'm gonna start doing. Who the fuck is that love? The job offer. Whoa, Lexus, you're a dangerous man. That boy got pissed off. That shit was dangerous. See it in one. Oh, he probably got mad because the white truck won't move up. Or get out the fucking fast lane. Point nine on me. That looks just is kind of crazy, bro. You dig? Oh, y'all seen that little, oh, that man. I was about to say that little boy. That grown ass man that fucking wave that be. I feel like that'd be like one of the best parts of riding. This is like, you be me. There's dickheads in the world, but it's also some cool ass folks. Go just chunk the little, you know what I mean, rock and roll sign at your boy. They could have made my day. I could have been depressed as fuck. That probably would have made my day, to be honest. But yeah, it's been a nice little ride. Y'all get to enjoy San Antonio again for what it is. But to dickheads and good people, man. Oh my God. That shit was kind of nice. Oh shit. I might drop a tear for that one. But yeah, this is the end of the video for y'all. See y'all boys in the next one. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Deuce.